Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation, solving all the issues that may arise during the setup, such as this PC can't run Windows 11 and the network not connected. So let's get started. Before we begin the installation, we should have some system requirements. They are VMware Workstation, the ISO image file of Windows 11 and the internet connection. You will also learn to gather the required tools if you already don't have them. In my case, VMware Workstation is already installed on my PC. I have already downloaded the ISO image file of Windows 11 and my host machine does have an internet connection. Although I have all those requirements, first let's see how to download the ISO image file of Windows 11 from the Microsoft official website. Search for download Windows 11 ISO. Click on the first link that takes you to the download page. Click on Windows 11. Scroll down a bit and here on the download Windows 11 disk image ISO section, click on the drop down and select the Windows 11 Multi-Dash Edition ISO. Next, if you click on the plus symbol, you can see the installation instruction using the different media. Then click on the download button. Here from the select the product language, click on your preferred language and then click on the confirm button. Scrolling down a bit, Click on the 64-bit download button. Locate the folder where you want to store the ISO image file and click on the save button. The download begins and it may take some time depending on your internet speed because the file is of 5.2 GB of size. Once the download completes and you have all the other requirements, you are now ready to begin the installation of Windows 11 in VMware Workstation. Go to the VMware Workstation, click on the create a new virtual image or press the shortcut keys Ctrl plus N. Leaving the default recommended typical selected, click on the next button. Click on the installer disk image file ISO and click on the browse button. Go to the location where the ISO image file is stored and click on it. Then click on the next button. Here make sure you select the guest operating system as Microsoft Windows and the version as Windows 10 x64. Although we are going to install the Windows version 11, we are selecting the Windows 10 because Windows 11 is not available on this version of VMware Workstation and this does not matter as well. Then click on the next button. Give a name to the virtual machine. Select the location where you want to store the virtual machine files and click on the next button. Here you may increase the virtual hard disk size or continue with the default specified. Click on the store virtual disk as a single file and click on the next button. By default 2 GB of RAM and 2 CPU cores are selected because they are the minimum hardware requirements. But we can customize it to get better performance. So let's set the number of processor to 2 and number of cores per processor is also 2. This is going to give us 4 cores of CPU for this operating system. If your host machine or your laptop does not have that CPU capabilities, you can continue with 1 CPU and 2 processor cores. I am taking 4 cores just to get the installation completed faster. You can increase the RAM size from 2 GB to something more to 4 GB or more or you can simply continue with 2GB. It depends on your host machine hardware specification. If you have larger capacity of RAM, you can allocate 4GB or more to a guest machine or virtual machine as well. Now power on the virtual machine. Press any key to start the booting process. Change the language time and currency format, keyboard or input method if you want to change it. Otherwise, click on the next button. Then click on the install now button. 
Here you are asked to enter an activation key. If you don't have an activation key, click on the I don't have a product key. We will activate the Windows 11 after we install it. Now select the correct edition of Windows 11, Home, Education, Pro or any other and click on the next button. We got an issue. This PC can't run Windows 11, which generally appears when the PC that you are going to install the Windows 11 on doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows, the Windows 11. If you check the system requirements to install the Windows 11, these three things are considered mandatory. 4 GB of RAM, 1 GHz dual core CPU, and trusted platform module TPM version 2.0 chip. But sometimes it becomes impossible to meet these requirements because your PC may be very old or your PC may be built for up to Windows version 10 only. But you want to run Windows 11 anyhow on your PC that is currently running a Windows 10. Then this video is going to be very useful. You are going to get the Windows 11 installed uh, regardless of having the TPM support hardware, secure boot support and other low specification of hardware components such as CPU, RAM and so on. From the current Windows setup interface, go one step back. Then press Shift plus F10 keys to open the command prompt. Sometimes you may require pressing Shift plus Fn plus F10 keys as well. If uh, pressing Shift plus F10 keys uh, doesn't bring you the command prompt window, try pressing the Shift plus Fn plus F10 keys. On the command prompt, type regedit.exe, R E G E D I T dot E X E, and hit enter. Then click on this arrow to expand the hkey underscore local underscore machine. Further expand the system. Expand the setup and click on it. Right click on the setup. Click on new and then click on the key. Give the name to the key as lab config. Then go to the main workspace of the key. Right click on anywhere on the white blank interface and click on new. Click on the D word 32 bit value and rename the value as bypass TPM check. Be careful of the lowercase and uppercase combination and make sure that they are typed as I am doing here. Now double click on the value and enter the value data as one and click on the OK button. In the same way, follow me and create two more values and set their values data as one. Okay, now you can close this register editor and you can close the command prompt as well. Now select which edition of Windows 11 you want to install and click on the next button. The issue is solved now. You can proceed further and get the Windows 11 installed on your PC. Click on the custom install Windows only advanced option. Here you can see only one drive. You can partition the drive if you want to. To partition the drive, you can just click on this new button and specify the size of the new partition and cl then click on the apply button. For now, I'm not going to create a new partition. Now, as we can see, it's installing Windows and the status is copying Windows file. It will have to complete all the steps listed here. So keep patience and wait for some time. After finishing up, it requires a reboot. So wait until it reboots or click on the restart now button. Now the Windows 11 is getting ready. It may take a long time. So I fast forward the video. Is this the right country or reason? By default, United States is selected. That's okay for me. So I click on the S button. Again, is this the right keyboard layout or input method? By default, the US keyboard input method is selected. That's okay for me too. So I click on the S button. 
Here you can add a second keyboard layout if you want to. Otherwise, you can skip this step. Now wait until your machine is connected to the internet and click on the next button. If you get an issue connecting to the internet, you can check the VMware network setting and make sure the NAT network adapter is selected. In my case, I have a custom NAT network. So I attach the custom NAT adapter to this operating system. After the setting is done, you will see the machine is connected to the network in a while. Click on the next button. As you can see, it's checking for updates. It may take some time. So I fast forward the video. Again, it requires restart before you continue. So wait until the PC restarts. I fast forward the process. Now name your device. I'm going to give a name to this device as encryption and click on the next button. Again, it's restarting. I fast forward the video. Now you need to sign into the Microsoft account. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, you need to create one. Since I already have a Microsoft account, I enter the email of the Microsoft account and click on the next button. Enter the password of the Microsoft account and click on the sign in button. Here you need to set up a pin. Give a pin, enter it again to confirm and click on the OK button. Here you need to choose privacy settings for your device. Turn the options that you want to keep on and turn off the service that you don't want to keep on. Here you can simply skip to customize your experience for now. If you want to backup your files with OneDrive, you can move on to set up the OneDrive. Otherwise, you can click on only save files to this PC option here. Again, it may take some time. So I fast forward the video. Wait for some time. It's getting things ready for you. Again, it may take some time. So I fast forward the video. Almost there. And now the installation is complete. We can see the Windows 11 desktop in the VMware workstation. The next step that we are going to do here is to get the Windows 11 on full screen mode in the VMware workstation. So for this, we will need to install the VMware tools. Click on the VM menu and click on install VMware tools. Wait for some time until you get the notification here that the VMware tools CD or DVD is inserted into your PC. To install the VMware tools from the CD or DVD, press Windows plus E keys to get the file explorer and click on this PC. Here double click on this DVD drive. If you get the prompt from the user account control, click on the S button. Wait until the VMware tools setup wizard is launched. Click on a couple of next buttons and click on the install button. Wait until the installation is complete. Here we go. We get the Windows 11 on full screen mode on the VMware workstation even before the VMware tool setup is completed. Finally, click on the finish button. Here we get a prompt from VMware tools setup that you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to VMware tools to take effect. Click on the S button to restart now or if you plan to manually restart later, click on the No button. Let's click on the S button and get the system rebooted. Now the system is restarted. Press the Enter key. Enter the pin. And now you are logged into the Windows 11. Okay guys, this is how we can install the Windows 11 as a virtual machine in the VMware workstation. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Goodbye.